This is Shepard with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience, and today I'm just going to plink a little bit. My clients have not yet arrived, so I'm going to plink a little bit. I've grabbed a Ruger American Rifle, which is essentially their 1022, but in a bolt-action version. And in this particular one, we have the uh, heavy barrel on it, and uh, it has the threading to put a suppressor on, which we don't usually use. We can handle the, the sound of the 22. And so the scope that we chose to put on here is a Diamondback Tactical. It's a 6 to 24 power, and uh, I'm a target shooter, so I like having it at a high magnification. But it's really neat that at a, a scope at this price point, you can have something that's first focal plane, and we got the one with a really busy reticule. And that's what, I'll put a link down below um, to this exact scope. What's really great is that for this price, you can put this scope on a 22 caliber rifle. Yeah, it's kind of overkill for a 22. But this lets you train, this lets you do your long range training with a, uh, with a, with a scope that has the features, the lower quality features, but decent, uh, of a higher end, you know, really nice uh, Vortex Razor or, uh, I don't know, the, uh, there are so many big names out there, I won't, won't say them all, but there, there are a lot of good names out there. This is a way to get the same, same training, essentially. And this little thing is just so comfortable. And you know something I've ended up doing is I'm ending up leaving this thumb over here. I'm leaving it on the same side of the gun. I'm not wrapping it all the way around. I've just been finding that that gives me less... Uh, it makes me do a little less yanking on the trigger when I shoot. Another good thing I like to do is take my deep inhalation, exhale all the way, hold my breath, or <laughs> hold my lungs empty, press the trigger gently, the gun goes bang, and then I keep my finger pressed back until I'm on target again. Then I let my finger go forward for the, the reset. Yeah, the scope's great. It's got the uh, it's got the hash marks below the crosshair, so I can go uh, I can go all the way to 36 minutes of angle. And we use this quite a bit at uh, 200 yards, and so that's 20 minutes of angle at our elevation. I think here we're about 6,200 feet, uh, and so about 20 minutes of angle is perfect for our 200-yard shots, and I find about 12 minutes of angle is right for our 130-yard shots. And, uh, you know, this thing's just right on. I, I, I usually hold. Um, when I'm shooting extreme long range, I will I'll dial my elevation, and I'll just use my windage. I'll, I'll hold the, on the, uh, the hash marks on the busy Christmas tree reticule, but with this, I just I hold over Let's go up here for the uh, for the target. I think I'm going to give that one 14. It's a little further. There we go. And now let's go up to 200 yards. Doing my triple check, making sure that the range hot light is on. There we go. Let's get the 200 again. There we go. And that is the kind of fun we have and you know i noticed that this this gun occasionally because i'm using the uh the really good ammo the cci mini mag they're really waxy so you got to clean the thing constantly but it, it's worth it because the ammo almost always fires so right now not quite empty but i've got a uh i got one that failed to extract so i'll take care of that and get back to having fun <music>